This video is the product of the Functional Cranial Release Research Institute. For difficult neurologic conditions that no one seems to have answers for, visit functionalcranialrelease.com. Palatal myoclonus is a rare neurologic condition that results in uncontrolled contraction or spasm of the soft palate and throat, along with head pressure and clicking noise and intense pain in the ears. Conventional medicine has no answers for this condition, leaving palatal myoclonus sufferers to live with this horrible disease. My name is Bruce. Uh, I've had palatal myoclonus for 23 years. Uh, it started with a click here and there, a click there, and it gradually got worse. I started going to see doctors and uh, a lot of testing on this and that and other, and just found out basically nothing worked. I was successful and kind of had this going to the point where I was just going to accept it and wasn't going to do anything about it. Mm -hmm. what, what, had, what have you tried? Uh, some Botox injections, a lot of medicine, Clonopin, Lorazepam, different things over the years, which really made me worse, but uh, uh, hypnosis. Mm -hmm. uh, went to some ear specialists. And, uh, pretty much you know, everything I read about for a while, and I kind of given up. Mm -hmm. So is that is that ringing cause the pressure as well? That ringing is the pressure completely different. It's all weird because it's no no like say because I was trying to explain when the, when the clicking's at its worst, that's when it seems like whatever the pressure is getting out. Mm -hmm. So that's my best days on a nice you know the ringing changes with the with the pressure of the air. And what you just felt here, you said it went away. Was that the pressure too? You know, it happens so quick, it's hard to tell. And I don't know if the pressure's that bad right now, because there's, there's a lot going on up there. Yeah. I mean, it, it's hard for me, and like I told him, with the, at the 30,000 feet, the airplanes didn't bother me so much, but whatever we did at 8,000, I think was it was really different when the pressure, but we're gonna fly a little lower, so going back. So I don't know, I don't think I'll know the full extent of everything till I get home and I get settled into something for a couple of weeks and some you know, things. So. It's hard, there's just so much going on. Mm -hmm. And, but, but the ringing is so bad, I've only heard peace for like two seconds in the middle of choir practice one night, 12, 15 years ago, when it quit just like that. Just like, just happened right there. Yeah. But it's so profound, as you can tell, that's, that's what, you know, <laughs> Well, let's get you to lay face down. The pressure, I don't think I'll understand the full extent of what's going on until I can stop. Well, so the ringing isn't coming from your ears, it's your brain. Right. Lay face down for me. I'm sorry. Otherwise, what we just did there wouldn't have had any effect. Right. So. No, but I'll take this on my time tonight, as I know I don't have to know that mean what. Because what you're going to do, you're going to take this on the bridge of your nose, you're going to let it get cold, and then take a deep breath and hold it as long as you can. All right, so I'm going bridge my nose. Uh huh. So what we're doing here is, as a part of the palatal myoclonus with, with Bruce, is he has tinnitus. So what we're doing is we're activating something called a dive reflex, which we would normally have when we jump into cold water. And it, it uh, stimulates the vagus nucleus. And he's holding his breath, and he's listening to the exact tone that, um, that he hears and I'm lasering his brainstem, so we got a lot going on. I mean, maybe, a, like when you adjusted me though, I mean it quit. I mean, I could tell the difference between mine and that, so whatever, when you hit that. Let's go ahead. Functional cranial release is using specific endonasal balloon inflations, which release deep connective tissue adhesions, and also stimulate the brain in a unique way to reverse palatal myoclonus. Here I'm using a precursor to relax and loosen up the posterior aspect of the skull, the cranium. And then this machine is called an arthrostem, and this is more stimulatory to the Chinese bladder meridian. Helps to integrate the treatment. And then here I'm testing Bruce, and this is a specific testing I use to determine how I'm going to position his body, specifically on the table as well as where I'm going to place a small balloon in through his nasal passage. And keep in mind there's six different placements that that balloon can have, so the testing is critical. And here I'm placing the balloon in a specific place in Bruce's nasal passage. 
Deep I've got breath him in. listening to a specific tone, his body's positioned specifically. Okay. Now this is a eustachian tube adjustment. Basically it's a technique to clear out the eustachian tubes. And I think with some palatal myoclonus patients, these eustachian tubes get full of junk. And this has been helpful for some of my patients. It's an old osteopathic technique. You hear about me? Uh, YouTube video. I was sitting there, my eye started twitching a couple weeks ago, so just wanted to look out there and see if there was anything new. And uh, Heather's video was on YouTube, and she described exactly what I have. Mm -hmm. Very positive and very encouraging. Um, still have a lot of head noise. Pressure's better, which is a big issue of mine. Um, things seem to be clearer. So I'm very hopeful. You know, like some of the great tools to manage this and you know, certain adjustments you've done where actually the ringing has quit mm -hmm. for brief seconds, but it's something there, the ringing has changed. So I think we're very encouraged, you know, with your work and what's going on and, and your desire to see us get some help. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. So, Hi, this is Dr. John. Thanks for joining me. If you or a loved one suffers from difficult neurologic conditions that no one seems to have answers for, send them to functionalcranialrelease.com. You can contact me by phone or email me at askdrjl at gmail.com. And remember, if healing is possible, consider it to be within your reach. Bye for now. Functionalcranialrelease.com.